What is up guys, how is everyone doing? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to talk about the event that Apple hosted uh, right around uh, on the April 20th. So uh, Apple had their event on 420, April 20th, and they announced the new Apple AirTags. And also they uh, announced the new iMac uh, with the M1 chip with different variations of colors. And lastly, they announced the M1 iPad Pro. Uh, besides those, they also announced a new Apple TV 4K and then a new remote for that. And also, Apple has created their new colored iPhone, which is a purple colored iPhone. We're just going to get into each one of those one by one. Apple AirTag being one of the first creations of Apple that lets you find um, your wallet, your keys, or uh, your purse. Uh, the Apple AirTags start at $29.99. That's for just one piece or uh, 99 bucks for four. Uh, Apple AirTags measure at 1.26 inches in diameter um, and it has a height of 0.31 inches or eight millimeter. It weighs at 0.39 ounces or 11 grams. So it's a really, really tiny piece that you could just uh, put it uh, in your uh, key tag as a key tag or uh, basically in your wallet. I guess if you have a wallet, uh, you could just put it inside your wallet and just forget about it. And if you're like leaving the house, can't find your wallet, you just uh, open up the app and uh, there is a GPS system in the app that will lead you towards your item. What's great about uh, these air tags is you can engrave up to four letters or emoji uh, depending what you want and they have different colors of casings so uh, if you really like the colors of casing I think they run around like $35 and they also have a really expensive one uh, the brown one I think Hermes Hermes on uh, uh, Hermes uh, one costs like right around three four hundred dollars which is bonkers so basically that is the most important part of the Apple event so the second thing that Apple came out with is the new iMac, the M1 chips, the colorful ones. It comes in seven colors. So it's in blue, green, pink, silver, yellow, orange, and purple. The power connector is magnetic, so it's really good. It just like really sticks in there. And it's really, really thin. It's only 11.5 millimeters it has four thunderbolts it's a 4.5k retina display and the craziest thing is it has six speaker system that can fill out the whole room uh really like that it's pretty pretty thin basically um I also like the uh, camera. I guess the camera is not really that great, but hopefully if you guys want to use external cameras that are really good, you guys could do that because it only does 1080p for uh, camera for IMAX. Uh, I don't know how to feel about the IMAX with different colors. I know if like 15, 20 years ago when I was in junior high, we used to use one of those big bumpy ones uh, in, in our computer class. And I guess they just brought it back uh, after 15, 20 years. And the final thing that Apple came out with is the iPad Pro, the M1 chip. It's super fast. It's faster than any iPads from before. It has an LED screen. Uh, the storage goes up to two terabytes and the speed can go up to 5G. So that's lightning fast, but it's still an iPad. Uh, I wasn't really a big fan of iPads. I'm a big fan of MacBook pros so uh i'm not really sure if you can edit any videos on ipads like professional youtube videos uh as per se on like uh, premiere pro i don't think it might be uh there you know but we will see it once it comes out most of these things will come out on april 30th today is uh april 26th i believe uh, so we have four more days of the launch since these items uh, are available in stores. So I was just an Apple store uh, a couple hours back to see if they had those items. And they were like, nope, you have to wait until April 30th. 
that's also it with uh, iPad Pros. We should see and test it uh, when it comes out on April 30th. So not much different with the Apple 4K TV and the remote that it came with. The one thing that I really wanted to cover is the new iPhone, uh, the purple ones that Apple just created. Uh, it's really interesting why they created it because in the lines of iPhone, they had one of them that is separate from all the iPhones, which is the red line. The iPhone red line was created basically for awareness of HIV and AIDS and to support the, the treatment cause and with all that. And uh, I don't really understand why Apple have created the purple um, purple kind of iPhone. Maybe it's because Steve Jobs' favorite color and it has been 10 years, almost 10 years since Steve Jobs have passed away. Maybe they really wanted to honor Steve Jobs with a purple iPhone. Uh, that is it, guys. I covered most of it. Hopefully, these things will come out on April 30th and I get my hands on it. Uh, unlike all these YouTubers, they already have uh, all the Apple AirTags uh, or different kind of phones. So hopefully, when they come out, I'm going to test them. I'm going to unbox them uh, if I get the chance. But guys, don't forget to subscribe, like, share this video, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.